Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Okay guys, so for all of you who don't know, I've been receiving a lot of emails. I just wanna let you know, and yes, I keep using the old flyer. I don't have the other one that Jason made, but London, attention all London Adams family. Join us for a subscriber meetup on Thursday, December 14th from seven to 9 p.m. That's going to be at all bar one. So if you guys are in London, then make sure you RSVP to ASST at upandatomlive.com. I just want to see everyone, anyone that we possibly can. We're going to have the best night. It's going to be you hanging out with me, my husband, my mother, my mother-in-law, my best friend, another person who also does the same stuff, a surprise guest, but just a lot of us, a lot of us getting together and it's going to be casual. Like I saw a couple people message me and say, I just want tickets to the show. It is not a show. We are just hanging out. I just want to have fun with you guys. This is my vacation. I'm not putting on a show for you. I'm, I'm not a performing seal, okay? But with that, guys, we're back to talk about Tom Sandoval because if you didn't think that he could be more of a douchebag, well, here, wait until you listen to this. Smash that like button, show some love, and let's jump right in. All right, guys, so we're back to talk about Tom Sandoval because he just gets douchier and douchier. Now, he is blaming Rachel Levis for Scandoval. This is the dumbest shit that I've ever heard, okay? Tom Sandoval can't stop, won't stop passing the blame for Scandoval, and this is coming from tasteofreality.com. Mm. Listen, during an episode of Two Teas in a Pod, the worm with the mustache managed to make himself look like an even bigger piece of shit. Yeah. Tom Sandoval disclosed that he thinks it's a really bad look for Rachel Levis to keep pushing blame on everybody else. She's a 29-year-old woman. She's not like 16, right? People seem to think that she's like, I don't know. Now, believe it or not, it gets even more cringy. Like, if you thought that Tom Sandoval couldn't become more of a douchebag, this makes him look... Like, I, I'm almost wondering, you're not stupid. He's not a stupid guy. I, I used to work at Tom, Tom. I know for a fact he's a very, very smart guy. That's how he got away with the affair for so long. Because he's not an idiot, okay? You must be trying to f*** with people and f*** with their minds. Like, you're trying to lean into this villain era. Either that or you're just... Like, you've lost your shit because you sound like an ass. You sound like a complete idiot. And you're not an idiot. But wait, here we go. Like, Rachel really came into her own. I had this happen in my life. Like, it happened to me in eighth grade. I went from being this, like, ew, girls. Then all of a sudden, I was, like, this really confident guy. I was, like, a great dancer. I became, like, super popular at my school and then... I like the confidence went too far. Like I need to get checked. I became a bit of a douche. You're still a douche. This happened to me at a much earlier age. And that happened to Rachel like last year. She went and got confidence and like she went too far. You know, she went too far and got herself in a position, but she did that to herself. She came on to a guy in a relationship that was severely, you know, like I was depressed. I had no self-value. Rachel made the first move. What the kind of deflection ass bullshit is that i don't even know if this video is going to get demonetized because i'm sitting here just talking like crazy but like why what what you idiot i was so popular like in school you know and then like i kind of had to be checked you know and then all of a sudden i think the difference is that like rachel just got popular, you know, like in school, like kind of, but like just last year, like where I did it in school. And so like, you know, I was severely depressed and she came on to me. So I accidentally slipped and took my clothes off and hooked up with her. Are you dumb? The answer is no, but this is a stupid thing to say. So I want to play a video for you guys, an audio clip. Because, well, that's where we're at in life right now. We're playing audios. Hold on. Here we go. Let me just refresh this for you guys. Mm. You know, at, like, 
everybody was sort of just engaging in our show just to watch and see if they could see the signs. And I know the editors definitely went back and edited things like differently. Yeah. yeah. After that. For sure. But I have a question for both you guys. So now we're saying that the editors went back and edited things differently, right? Hold on. This is just dumb. I'm trying to see if I can bring this up. Let's see. Okay. Now, the editors edited things differently. The producer said that they did not go back and re-edit scenes to amplify the Tom Rachel stuff as Easter eggs or preview hints. And even Andy said he confirmed nothing was re-edited. But Sandoval says it was. So which one is it? Um, I don't agree with that. But wait, 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 wait. Or to just keep pushing blame on everybody else. Do you think she's she loved you old, or do you think she's she a wanted the attention? Old woman. You know what I mean? She's not 16. Like, right. People seem to think that she's like, I don't know. But but do you think she loved you or do you think she wanted fame? I. That's not one or the other. I think like we'll see how that plays out this season. Yeah, I think I think I hope she did. I don't know. I, I mean, why did she, she walk away the from way you? She's just like shooed me away like yeah, that's what my question is why did she just walk away from you? i don't know you guys i'm not in her head strong... like i i think a lot of people earlier age that happened to rachel like last year yeah. you know like she went she came into her own and she got this confidence and like and she went too far you know she went too far and and got herself in a in a position but, but Schwartz, she did that herself as as a she didn't friend have to come Tom. on to a guy in a relationship like she did and she came on to a guy in a relationship that was severely you know like i was depressed i had no confidence did she make the first the, move so, so low self-value and yeah she did she, she made, made the first move. move and you were there that night the night in the jacuzzi no, yeah that, I, that was not it that, I that was not i was severely depressed man and she like came on to a guy that was in a relationship and like she should have known better because like I came into my own in high school in school and I became so popular and like, she just had this, she needed to be stopped. Her level of confidence was so uncontrollable. What guys, please somebody make this make sense to me. If you think that I'm just being an ass, which you might, and you think I'm going too far with the impersonating of him and just the way that I think about this, then let me know. Have I taken this too far? Or do you actually agree with my idea of the fact that this is just whack? Whack, silly, dumb, crazy. Dumb, crazy, whack, silly. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to call it. This is just ridiculous. I want to hear what your thoughts are. Again, I'm going to move on because I can't sit here and talk about Tom any longer. Go ahead and comment below. And before you go, you guys know how this works. Go ahead and smash that like button. Show some love. And I'm going to bring this up one more time. London, attention all. London Adams family. Join us for a subscriber meetup on Thursday, December 14th from 7 to 9 p.m. at All Bar 1. Please RSVP to ASST at upandatomlive.com. And I'm going to just leave this up here for a second while I say again, and I know I said this at the beginning, this is not, I'm not putting on a show. It's not what's happening. You don't have to buy tickets. Just RSVP. That way we can expand the area. We've had to expand it twice now. And I just need to know in case you are coming, I want a place for you to be able to sit and hang out and just, I don't want you to be standing there awkward. I want you to just be able to come like, come play with us, but also be comfortable. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.